Hello, welcome to my American Idol review and recap of tonight's episode, the top 13 results, March 8th, 2012. Alright, so it starts off, we have a group number, and all of the finalists sing Stevie Wonder's ads. This was okay, I mean, it was a little smooth little song, you know kind of mid, mid-tempo-ish kind of song. It was okay. Not the best group performance I've ever seen, but definitely not the worst. After that, they had the Ford music video, which, if you know me, I love the Ford music videos. They're so much fun. Um, this week's Ford music video was Peter Gabrielle's Big Time, and um, the whole purpose of the music video was that all the idol contestants, they're now big in Hollywood, and they're like big, huge giants, and they're walking around Hollywood. Pretty cool. Okay, so now down to the results. First up, Elise, Holly, and Jessica take the stage. Holly and Jessica are safe, of course, and Elise is in the bottom three girls. After that, Hijun, Jermaine, and Colton take the stage. Hijun and Colton are safe, and Jermaine is in the bottom three. Good. I'm not a fan of Jermaine, so I'm okay with that. After that, Lauren Elena from last season takes the stage singing Georgia Peaches. This was just great. Um, I love the song Georgia Peaches. It's such a good country song to rock out to. It it was it was so awesome. Um, I love the song. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of Lauren Elena while her while her run on Idol, but now that Idol's all done for their season. I like her a lot more now. I actually very much like her album. I actually did buy it. It was very good. It is a very good, you know, girly kind of country album, and I very much enjoy it. Um, she was great working the stage. You could tell she was having a blast. She was so happy to be back. Um, she, you know, went up to the judges, did a little thing with them, went to the contestants, interacted with the contestants. Um, at one point, she accidentally let go of her earpiece. I don't know what happened there. But, um, I don't know. But yeah, she was great. Fantastic. Loved it. Okay, now to more results. Erica, Shannon, and Skylar take the stage. Erica and Shannon are in the bottom three girls, and Skylar is safe. Okay, good. Good choices, I guess. Alright. Then Phil, Joshua, DeAndre, and Jeremy take the stage, and Philip and DeAndre are safe, and Joshua and Jeremy are in the bottom three guys. And then Ryan Seacrest, right when he tells Philip that he is in the bottom three guys, he comes up and he does a little thing and he's like, and we'll find out who is going home, which is not Erica and Joshua. And they're both like, what? Oh, yay! We made it! So they are happy. So... Erica and Joshua are safe. Good. I like both of them. Alright. Then after that, Mary J. Blas performs her lead single Why. It's okay. I'm not really I'm not a really big fan of Mary J. Blige, but she is she's talented, so good job for her. And then down to the results. Jeremy and Jermaine are the two final guys up there, and Shannon and Elise are the two final guys up there. Out of the guys, <coughs> Jermaine is safe. I'm not a fan of Jermaine, so... And then, out of the girls, Shannon is safe. No, I don't like Shannon. I like Elise. But, thankfully, the judges decided to save Elise, and Jeremy left. I think this was a very good choice. I was kind of scared for the judges um, doing it, because I was scared that that they would, you know, send home the wrong person. I think they sent home the right person. Even though I would have liked to have seen either Jermaine or Shannon go. But I think Jeremy Rosado, he he has a nice voice, but I don't think he's diverse enough for the competition. I think he can really do just one thing. And that one thing, he's not, like, fantastic at. I mean, he's good. But he's not, like, you know, whoo. But, um, and I think that that's what the result would have been. I think he would have had the lowest number of votes. I think Elise would have had a little bit more. So, um, 
you know, Elisa Stone is becoming more and more like Hayley Reinhardt every day. You know, she starts off, you know, the audition process. She's given a really, really bad edit. You know, they don't show her that much. And, um, the, she, you know, gets screwed over by the producers by, you know, having to sing a song that she's not comfortable with, which is something Haley went through a lot during her run on Idol. And, you know, Haley, she was in the bottom a lot and still ended up getting to the top three because she just was blowing performances out of the water in order to keep herself there. So, you know, I think Elise, you know, right now she's struggling, but I definitely think that she she could, you know, get up there. Um, everyone else that is um, happy, you know, Jessica, I love her. Holly, she's very solid. As I love Skylar Lane. Um, he's June, you know, he's hilarious. So, you know, uh, I think this was a very good, solid choice of sending um, Jeremy Rosado. Um, yeah, so th that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, follow me on Twitter at SkyDaHealyFan. I live tweet during Idol. Join me. I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment down there. Tell me who you liked. Sub up there and right over there. Thank you.